real, real quick. Come on, we got it, we got to fit. All right, time for the building station, but I think I want you in close for the actual construction, so I'm gonna bring you in. All right, y'all, let's build some dreams. First things first, perfect little toasty bun. Mayo. Hey, Valentina. Let's go. Amateur fork spread. But we all good still. I can't help but feel that the hash brown has to be at the base. Once that's there, we can hit it with a cheese slice. Just ready to peel. To melt that, we hit it with some hot crispy ham. Two, three slices on each. She's gonna be stupid, y'all. She is going to be stupid. And then, finally, just a simple, delicious, perfectly cooked egg. And that's a one for your money and done. I'm gonna leave it like that because I wanna taste the sauce on the bottom and I want that yolk to be prominent on the top. I don't want it interfered with. So, we top that bad boy. All right. So one there, off to the side for a moment. Okay, on this one, a little bit of a different approach. I was thinking, definitely still a little bit of mayo. Mustard. I was thinking more along the lines of a ham and cheese type thing, like a melted ham and cheese grilled, grilled cheese sandwich, but this is more of an egg version. Obviously we gotta hit it with the hash brown, clearly. Then we'll bring Oh my god, this ham. Look at this ham. That is just stupidity in the most delicious form ever. So, ham on. Misplaced the cheese on this one, but oh well. We're going to figure out where the cheese tastes better then. Perfect egg. Looks very fake. Very Playmobil-esque. Junior Kitchen. Pop that on. And I actually just want to touch this one with a bit of hot sauce. This is just like a regular Frank's hot sauce. And we must, we have to, obviously, pop the top. Too hot to touch. Look at that, oh my goodness. It's everything you ever wanted and more in a breakfast sandwich, I have, I would say. So let's get these guys in the middle. Bring our boys, our sausage. Maybe get a little thumbnail action with that. Got the ketchup. It's a no pour up day. I think this is bad enough. I'm just going to keep it with the ice water. And now that I've wet my beak a little bit, it's time to smush. Which one do I go for first? I truly honestly believe that the... I truly honestly believe that the Valentina mayo is where my heart lies. <clears throat> Watch this egg. She's about to burst. She is about to burst. Ladies and gentlemen, breakfast is absolutely served. And it is actually about 3 4 o'clock in the morning here. How red did I get? Does it really matter? With food like this in front of you? I 
I don't think so. The Sriracha Mayo. Valentino. I keep saying Sriracha. I'm so used to breakfast sandwiches. Having Sriracha Mayo. Different level. Okay, come on. That's a sausage tang right there. That's how a breakfast sausage is supposed to be. Super brown, super crispy, definitely ketchupy. One of those food items I did not appreciate as a kid. It took me a long time. To truly get good with our breakfast sausage. You'll have to excuse my ice machine. It's acting a fool right now. It sounds like it's someone peeing. It's not someone peeing. It's just my ice machine. I swear I'm alone. I swear I'm in quarantine. Don't send the government after me. Yo. The snout is the first thing to acknowledge. But the other thing to acknowledge, and if you know the reason why down below, tell me please down below. Whatever seasoning they use in the sausage. To me, it has like this like almost, almost fennel -y taste, but not fennel. I know the answer in today's day's world, today's day's world is literally a Google away, so maybe I'll do that after this, but I would like to know if anybody knows. All right, <clears throat> the ham and cheese, pickle, mustard, mayo one. Certainly intrigued to to know which will reign supreme. Mm, that drip though, look at that drip. winner it's way more balanced not nearly as rich the pickles and the mustard cut through the egg yolk the cheese the meat even the hash brown the hash browns add like a richness to it so Having the pickle and having the mustard in there, crucial. Absolutely crucial. I need to open <clears throat> many various sandwich shops, but also it's the way that you build it. The fact that the mustard and the pickle are close to the bottom. It 
it's what your tongue gets first and then as you come up into the richness of the egg and the cheese that's when that richness meets that sharpness and they just fucking battle it out to a to a draw have a fucked up brain like mine and every time they say ice water think they think of I swatter <laughs> or to fly swatter but on your eye <laughs> ice water I was saying Nice change of pace. It makes the meal <clears throat> go down smoother. Sometimes. She's extra crispy. I used to always love on like you know Easter's or whatever Christmas family makes like a massive breakfast and then like <clears throat> later on hour later there's like some leftover sausages if you're lucky a couple bacon strips But they're like cool down and like congeal and you go and like thief those in like an hour when you're kind of hungry again I feel like breakfast food is that kind of food where I get hungry quick after it like it doesn't fill me up for a long time what can I say absolute beauty full send of a meal uh would love to do another one like that on the grill and just think of some other shit so anyways hope you enjoyed that one till the next one eat good live well stay true